Holy crap. Let's see what we got in here. This is kind of sexual. All right. <laughs> oh yeah. How's that look? Oh my God. What do you think? There's Nothing. only one way to do this and this is to get into it. That's right. This is Burgers and Beers. I want an Indian burger. Can you make I me an Indian you. burger? I got you covered. Awesome. I'll be back. I'm gonna eat an Indian burger. Pretty. Healthy burger. Oh my God, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> well, just talking about, you know, going to like with those Indian flavors with, oh, wow. we got some like mango pickle in there. We have like raw red onion, chicken patty yeah. from our friends at Gunthorpe Farm, turmeric and ginger, and a little bit of dried galango and things like that to bring out the spices, I think, in this beer. Yeah. A little bit of salty feta cheese, which I think is really important for this. this oh yeah, pairing. for sure. Nice. And um, yeah, some sesame bun. So let's wow, do it. It's, it's so pretty. I like. I'm afraid to eat it. It's just like so so elegant. Let's see what's inside there. Let's see what's cooking. Yeah. It's pretty. No, and it's cold. Actually, like it matches the color scheme of the beer. That's the first thing I noticed. Like the old mangoes kind of matching the beer. I feel kind of healthy before I eat this. This is great. Well, yeah. All right. Cool. I'm gonna. I'm gonna dig it. it. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. All right. Oh my God. You can smell all the Indian spices. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my god. That's crazy. Mm. That, is there any hummus on this? There's a little bit of hummus puree on the bottom. Oh, okay. I was Give wondering. A little bit like hold it all together. Yeah. And obviously anytime you add salt to anything, you use a salty cheese, that's just gonna almost seasons the whole pairing too. It's kinda like putting like some finishing salt mm -hmm. on everything right here. So obviously the salt's gonna bring out some more flavor in the Almost beer. Almost seasoning the beer. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's righteous. I really love that. Mm -hmm. That's a brilliant, brilliant little burger. You can eat this every day. Oh. <laughs> I think I got it. Okay. I'll be back. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Kobe beef. Yep. Tonkatsu Berkshire pork. Yeah. Nori. Yeah. We have a little bit of kumquat koshu, which is fermented citrus peel. So it kind of goes with like the bitterness, but yeah. it's got some sweetness and like some body to it. Yeah. Uh, smoky bonito flakes. Uh -huh. Sesame bun. And I had to put, since it's like, like rose, right. it's so great with spicy food. Shishitos from the garden. Holy crap. Let's see what we got in here. This is kind of sexual. All right. <laughs> oh yeah. How's that look? Oh my God. What do you think? There's Nothing. only one way to do this and this is to get into it. That's right. First, I'm gonna start with the beer. Then I'm gonna get into the burger and then back to the beer. That's my method. I like your thinking. Oh, look at that juice, how juicy that is. Oh, oh yeah. That is looking tasty. Now, interesting part, is that crunch from the um, the tonkatsu, mm. that high quality heirloom pork mm -hmm. kind of brings it around. Mm. You got the acidity from the vegetables, the richness from the patty. Tastes a little bit of the shishito with it. Mm -hmm. Brings out that great bitter end, almost like a uh, Normandy style cider. I mean, all these like Japanese pickles in here with that little sweetness, it's like bringing out so much strawberry in the beer as well. Yeah. I just love how well that's coming together right now. Yeah. You need kind of like that organ meat, that totally. blood, oh, maybe God. some blood sausage. Oh, wow. Let's do hamburger. Hamburger sounds good. All right, I'll All be right. back. Cheers.
Trevor? Yes. This could be the National Burger of Scotland. Oh, God. All right. Uh, what's on it? So here we go. Oh, what is that? So it's like a little... Like, look at this. It's like a freaking intestine running off of it. Exactly. So oh. intestines, spleen, mm -hmm. there's crispy tripe. Okay. Liver, kidney, with like a veal patty, the way we took the liver and pureed it and yeah. pulled it into veal. Little endive in there, which has been grilled, a little smokiness. All right. Little lime. Oh, and blood sausage. This seems like it might be like a deconstructed version of haggis. And That's I'm kind of. Exactly I, right. I, I do, I have fears. Okay. It is literally a castle of organ meats. Okay. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay. Right, you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's do it. All right. Whoa. Wow. That is organy. Um, that's actually quite delightful. What? Yeah, I actually really like that. Oh, I mentioned the grilled tongue. Oh, no, you, you, forgot, you forgot that. That's a key component. Cool. So it's like basically like all the parts that Americans don't eat on one burger. That's exactly right. Uh, Some of this stuff that you're using tastes like straight up blood. It's like uh, uh, someone has like a funk factory that produces uh, blood tasting things and the outcome <laughs> is is just complete debauchery and terribleness. And I don't hate this. I'm actually going in for a second bite because I'm, I'm so into it. What I love about haggis too is like you get to use all those parts, like you said, that mm -hmm. people don't eat in America, right. but have really distinct flavor profiles. And layering those flavors together and cleaning it up a little bit, you can almost pick out every single individual component. And together, I think it's a really great pairing. There's uh, poetry by uh, Robert Burns, and he talks about haggis. And if they made it like this, I totally get why you would dedicate some poetry to it. Exactly. Because this is, this is poetry together. It's beautiful. You know, I'm thinking like maybe French onion soup? <laughs> what do you think? Scientists are going to take apart your brain one day and try and dissect it, because no, I don't know how the hell you ended up crazy. there, but you, you uh, started with uh, rhubarb and then you ended in France, and now yeah. we're at French onion soup. All right. Let's do this. French onion I'll soup right burger. Back. I can't wait. Oh, that's a sight for sore eyes. This actually looks really good. <laughs> we took that whole French onion soup idea and kind of yeah. turned it on its head. Okay. So we have that stewed, like really slow onions where you add a little salt, a little onion, you cook them for like an hour. Love it. Port wine and raspberry sauce. Yeah. Some blue cheese and some sharp cheddar in there. Mm. I think it needs that fat. Yeah. And I, we had some extra blue cheese, so I'm like, hey, let's make some beignets to go along with it. Oh man. This is a dream right now for me. I am psyched this is for my this. this is my dream okay. burger. Well, hope I don't disappoint. Yes. Well, let's check that. Crack out. it open. See what it looks like. Open it up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Nice cook on and it. Mid rare. Mid rare for Perfect. sure. The only way to eat a burger. Juicy. Everyone exactly. should know. All right. Let's uh, let's dive in. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh my god. Okay. Really interesting what the cheese does with the sour. Mm -hmm. Somehow, the blue cheese actually brought out some salinity and brought the tartness of the beer down. Mm -hmm. And the this could be the most dynamic, totally burger beer tasting. Yeah, out of everything that we've done so far. There's like every time I taste it, I learn something new or experience yeah. something new as we go through. It's not consistent. Yeah, I no, love that. No, this is a, this is definitely another eureka moment and another mind bender. I think we might want to combine a patty and a sausage together on this one. I love that. Yep. So let me get to the kitchen. Okay. And I'll be right back. I trust you.
Trevor. Get your German game on. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Another big one. That's exactly right. Pork patty, red wine braised cabbage, beer bratwurst. We have sauerkraut. Okay. And crispy shallot okay. with homemade beer mustard. All right. Typical warm German potato salad. Well, and obviously the pretzel bun driving home on the whole oh, German yeah. thing. <laughs> uh, what kind of pork did you use in that? Um, we use a combination of like uh, Berkshire and Duroc. Oh my, okay, so like you the know, best like, the best of the best pork. Well, you try to. Heirloom, you know, heirloom, exactly. heirloom. Heirloom pork. That's right. Okay. So All right, we got going crack on it open, there. let's see what it looks like. The, the oh, reveal, the as reveal. it were. The reveal, what's going on in there? Nice. Sausage, you got everything happening there right mm -hmm. now. Well, it's freaking beautiful. Let's see what we got uh, here. Tradition. Mm. Uh, man, that coriander really comes out. Yeah. Mm. The cool thing about it is all these great, like, traditional uh, German houses that mm -hmm. make great German food. I feel like I'm in one of those, but in a burger, which is crazy, because I don't even feel like I'm eating a burger, I'm going to be honest with you. Exactly. This is like, if I go to any German restaurants in Chicago and I got this, I'd be like, this is really German. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, psyched for, I'm psyched for this right now. It's kind of a new learned thing that I'm learning while we're doing this experiment is that all these like acidic, pickled, fermented things seem to elevate beer more than anything else inside of it. I agree 100% with that. Yeah. I think that acid's so important because yeah. it keeps it clean, yeah. and it keeps it distinct, yeah. and it works better, especially with beer. You know, the great thing about this, like, uh, you know, when I'm tasting the food and this beer together, it just reminds me of the days like when we're doing like wine pairings, you know, with mm -hmm. like all these intricate courses and these, you know, bottles of wine that are thousands and thousands of dollars and like yeah. what that looks like. but. It doesn't have to be that complicated. One of the few you know, good parts of the job. No, a few good parts, exactly. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do is to, to have a beer while I'm cooking. To be like, all right, I'm having this beer, I'm gonna take these veg, I'm gonna take this protein, I'm gonna make something exactly. complete. And I think that's always a great experiment. It really ties the food together and it makes you feel kind of more complete as like a, a budding culinarian. That's exactly right. Invite your friends over, make it into like a session. You totally. Know? I think it's very important. Yeah. Take chances, take risks. Yeah. Drink great beer. Drink great beer. To you. Absolutely, man. Cheers. Cheers.